So, Prime Minister, the Met Police has concluded its uh, inquiry. Are you going to apologise for the scale of law breaking under your watch? Well, I'm very grateful to the Met for their, uh, their work. I thank them for everything that they've done. I think that we, we just need to wait for, uh, for Sue Gray to report and then, uh, as I've said, I'll be, uh, fingers crossed, that will be uh, very soon and I'll be saying some more next week. And can you guarantee that that report will be as transparent as possible and that number 10 won't be blocking any names from being released? Uh, that will be entirely up to uh, Sue Gray and uh, we'll be, I'll be looking forward very much to seeing what she has to say and fingers crossed that will be, that will be pretty soon next week. Uh, and secondly, what do you say to Jamie Oliver today, who's protesting outside uh, Downing Street in need to mess protest because of... Uh, Is he protesting your, against me? It, no, he's protesting about your uh, obesity policy. No, OK, we, have, we are very, very... Uh, we understand the vital importance of, uh, of tackling obesity. It costs the NHS huge, huge sums of, of money. Uh, people feel uh, healthier, happier. Um, their quality of life is much, much better if, if they lose weight, speaking entirely personal. Now, there, there are lots of things you've got you to focus on, uh, including uh, diet, eating less, or, or, or eating less is the most important thing. Uh, but uh, there are some things at the moment where uh, we think they make very little difference to obesity and they can affect people's uh, weekly outgoings, people's budgets. And at this particular time, uh, if people can save on their, on their food bills uh, with, with some offers, then I think we've just got to be flexible whilst continuing to tackle obesity. You mentioned people there. People here in Wales are struggling. Yes. They're struggling financially. Yeah. Uh, food bank use is increasing. What are you waiting for before more support? We're putting in huge amounts of support right now, and we will continue to do that. The, the reason we can is because we came out of COVID with a strong economy. We've got the, the fiscal firepower uh, to, put, to put money uh, into, into uh, people's uh, livelihoods to try to support people in the way that we did during, during COVID. And the, the issue that we have to tackle is not only the help for the immediate uh, cost, the cost with people's energy, the cost of, of food. What you've got to fix is the, uh, the, the, the supply of energy in this country. It is crazy that we're paying so much more than some other countries for dependable, low-carbon uh, energy. And we made a historic mistake in not going for enough nuclear. Here in Wales, here in Wales, we have the answer. So not just at uh, Wilfa, but uh, to Trasfinith, uh, we're going to be going forward. We're going to be. Go yeah, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'll come back in a second. But what we also need to do, of course, they need help now, and I understand that. And, and we're, we're, gonna, we're helping now, and we will continue to do to do more. But at the same time, you've got to show people, and you've got to make sure that we don't run into this kind of problem again. And it was the short-termism yeah. of previous Labour governments that meant we didn't have the dependable energy supply. That, so I care deeply about the, the crunch now, but to what we have to avoid also is future crunches and, and, and future uh, spikes in the cost of energy. It is insane that this country is piping in electricity uh, from the continent, from, from France. Uh, crazy when we've got hydrocarbons of our own and that we're, we're continuing to take them what from cutbacks? Putin's Russia. What cutbacks have you had to make this well, in the last few months? I understand completely that people are facing a very tough time. And that is why uh, many, many people are facing a very tough time. And that's why we put £22 billion pounds already into, into tackling uh, people's costs, particularly on energy. I think one thing that people haven't uh, focused on perhaps is that there's another big cut in uh, people's uh, taxes coming. Everybody on national insurance contribution uh, in, in July, making that contribute on national uh, on NI NICS, will get an average cut of £330. Uh, I'm not, look, I'm not going to pretend to you uh, that we can magic away uh, every single expense that people are going to face as a result of the, of the global spike in energy prices. But be in no doubt that this will come down, we will get people through it, we will use the firepower that we've, we've built up to put our arms around people just as we did during the, the pandemic. And finally, can I speak in uh, a question on farmers in the Yes. Some of them struggling at the moment with paperwork related to Brexit. Um, when will that improve them? 
Well, I'm just here in a fantastic uh, agricultural uh, food business that is, I think, uh, doing better and better. And we, and we, one of the things we want to do, of course, is to is to cut their 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 energy costs. Uh, but there are there are, and, and that will, I think, particularly help a, 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 a fantastic business like this. But if you look at uh, lambing sheds, uh, which I remember from uh, when my family were. Uh, we're farming. Uh, you know, the, there are big expenditures in energy uh, inputs like fertilizer. That's that's driven very much by the uh, the cost of uh, of fuel. Get that down. Fix the price of energy, and you really start to help the agriculture sector as well. The Ockenval. The Ockenval. That's right. <laughs>